Oh, I tell you, this is one of my favorite videos because I get to discuss or criticize one of my favorite groups to criticize, ridicule, and make fun of. Why? It's the Goily Man! The Goily Man! <laughs> I'm Sea Shepherd, the cowards that they are. Let me give you a little background. When this trip was first proposed for me to come to Japan, I was asked where I would like to go. And I mentioned, I think, two places. The Yasukuni Shrine, the War Memorial in Tokyo, and Taiji. Well, Shun said that was all very possible. So the first, uh, uh, but here's what the problem was. The mayor did not want to meet with me because I was one of them, their fairness. And I don't blame him because of the despicable, the dishonorable behavior of Sea Shepherd and Sea Shepherd types in that town, it gave him and the other people a bad impression of people from the West. And I cannot really blame the guy. It's a small little quiet fishing village of about 3,000 people, such as you would see in the Gulf Coast of the United States, the New England States, or the Northwest of the United States. That's what I thought I was when I was in this little beautiful seaside village, nice and peaceful. So he didn't want to meet with me, and I didn't blame him. What was Shun asked me to do was to make a short video, about a minute and a half, explaining who I was and why I would like to meet with him. He then put it on a DVD with a cover letter and sent it to the mayor. This resulted in we getting an appointment with the mayor. So we had an appointment with the mayor, but before that day, when we went into the town, we stayed at a hotel. Uh, yeah, at a hotel. On the day of the meeting, it was raining that day, but I was still able to see the beauty of the town through that rain. And, and you want to know what was missing? Why, it was in that movie, The Cove. Remember that movie, The Cove? Where they showed how they had to sneak into town, hide from the policemen, to which I have to say, really? Sneak into town? We went into town with June's big American van. It's a Chevrolet van, one of the customized ones, with the raised roof. Tell me that doesn't stick out like a sore thumb in Japan. And sitting in the front seat in the driver's side, because the steering wheel is still on the American side, was this fat face American, just smiling as could be, with my video camera in hand. And guess what? I didn't see that one policeman. Not a one. It was quite easy to drive into that town out in the open. And here are some of my visits around the town before we met okay, with the Okay, here we are in Taiji, just a couple of yards from the cove. But as you can see, it's raining out. And, and we searched all over and we could not find any goily men. Where are the goily men? We're on the hunt for goily men right Hi, here folks. in Taiji. Here we are in Taiji. And as you can see, it's raining out there. And behind me is the Whale and Dolphin Museum in Taiji. We are scheduled to have a meeting with the mayor. We've been looking around for goily men. <laughs> but I'm not able to find them. And you know why? Because the rain will wash the filth off their bodies. May get rid of the bed bugs, the lice, and the yeast infections. But let me tell you something. This is a beautiful town, and it's a shame it has to be soiled by people like that. All right, we'll see you. All right, folks, here we are, authentic. Whale jerk, that's what it is, folks. This must taste delicious. And the, the only reason why I'm not buying it, because I cannot take it back to the United States, thanks to sea ship with girly men types and then their liberals. But however, later on in this visit, I will be enjoying some whale meat at Dotonbori, Osaka. Hi, folks. <laughs> oh, incidentally, I might now in Taiji just a few yards from the cove, and I can't find any curly men. Now we met with the mayor, and the mayor, when the mayor was there, he had the assistant mayor there, some members of his staff, and members of the Fishermen's Association. We were all in this room together. And the first thing I did when the mayor came in, after the greeting and the formal exchanging of cards, was I stood up and I bowed. And I apologized to the mayor for the shameful behavior of those people from the West, letting the mayor know they do not represent us in the West. We do not act like they do, shameful and disrespectful and despicable and disoriented as they are. And also that we are not inflicted with fleas, bed bugs, and lice 
like the Sea Shepherd clan is that invades that town. And we had a meeting for about an hour discussing various aspects of uh, whaling and dolphin hunting. Now, after the meeting, he then arranged for us to, make, to go to a nearby restaurant in a hotel that the town owns so we can have lunch. So we followed a member of his staff in, the, in our vehicle, in his vehicle, to the restaurant, and here's basically what happened. Hi, folks. Here we are sitting in a restaurant belonging uh, to a hotel that's owned by the city of Taiji at the uh, benevolence of the mayor of the town, giving us a good meal. Our lunch was interrupted because the press showed up, and we're going back to City Hall. What exactly transpired, I have no idea. But I'll find out from Shun as he translates all this to me. Because what, kids? We're having a good time as G Shepherd's express. Expre <laughs> Expense. The curly man. All right, we'll see. You. We have to leave the lunch because of some political reasons. The press corps showed up for an impromptu press conference, and we're heading back to City Hall. And Shun over there will explain to me what happened. All right, we'll see. You. All right, folks, we're back in Taiji uh, City Hall. We left the restaurant because the press was showing up, and the mayor did not want us to be bothered eating our meal with the press there. So he summoned us back to City Hall. We're going to have our lunch here. Then afterwards, we'll go back to that restaurant to meet with the press. All right, it's getting interesting, right, folks. folks. They brought the food over from the restaurant, and I want to show you their version of a to-go box. Look at this. This is their to-go box. It's not the styrofoam we're used to in the United States. Look at this beautiful made out of wood. And look at this magnificent meal I'm going to enjoy. All thanks to those whales and dolphins out there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright folks, they brought the meal to us and the first that we have here, this is raw whale meat over here that I, that I will be eating and enjoying. Take that Moby Dick, that's payback for Captain Ahab. And then over here we have some more delicious whale meat. Good for the heart. <laughs> Now, after the meeting with the mayor, and after the uh, lunch in his office, we went back to the restaurant to uh, meet with the press corps and have a, uh, a press conference. Well, I need to tell you something. That whale meat was delicious. <laughs> But the, the whale meat was good. If you ever get an opportunity to try some whale meat, I suggest that you do because it is good, both cooked and both after raw. The press, and after the press conference, we then went to the whaling museum and the uh, facilities there where they train the uh, dolphins because the mayor arranged for us to have a tour. Here, here we are at the Itaiji Whale Museum where they're doing some dolphin training. Do you want to get the video? Yeah. Do you want to get the video? Go in. She's our guy. <laughs> and your name? Tamaki? Tamaki. Tamaki. Yeah, right. Arigato. <laughs> okay, let's enjoy. <laughs> I think I lied in some of my videos when I said they use everything on the whale. No, they don't. Look, they left the bones. <laughs> That's all that should be left of a whale, all the bones. As a matter of fact, I think I had some of his meat for lunch today. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's explaining to us all about the, uh, the procedure for whale hunting back uh, how long ago? Mm -hmm. About 400 years ago. 400 years ago, okay. Right. Okay. Well, when the tour was over with, on the outside, as we're getting in our vehicle, we come across a gentleman who asked us to follow, he was at the press conference, asked us to follow us to his home because because he wanted to give Shun a DVD, then show us the road to Osaka. Now here's a gentleman who owns one of these vans that have these loudspeakers on there, and they have these throughout Japan, 
where they uh, recite political rhetoric through those loudspeakers. Well, <laughs> now he knew me. He was at the press conference. We get in the van to follow him, and here's what happens. I want you to listen to this guy. This guy told us to follow him, and on his loudspeaker, he's bashing America, and he knows I'm American. God bless him. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> listen to him. He knows I'm following him. I'm a atomic McDonald's, he's talking about Americans. Apologize to the people. Apologize to the Duke and the people. We never forget about Now look, this is the guy that was told he told us to follow him. So we followed him and on his speakers he was yelling at all anti-American stuff. So now he went to his house there to get a DVD to give us. I don't know about what. Oh, uh, movie. Went to the <laughs> this is my good friend. This is the guy who owns the van over there. It's my buddy. <laughs> okay. I know. I was in the van behind him. Of course he did. But you know something? I was not offended. I found it very amusing and I found that it enhanced my experience in the town. So I say to him, thank you very much. And he's a fan. He wanted to take a picture of with me, with the two of us together, so we could show it to his daughter because his daughter would be a little upset with him because his daughter was the one that turned him on to my videos. That's how he found out about me. So we took the picture for his daughter. But I did not take offense to anything that he said because his heart was in the right place. God bless him. Well, as we were traveling through the town, guess what we found in the neighboring town? We located the two hotels that Sea Shepherd stays at. And guess what, kids? The goily men, the cowards, were not there. Nope. They run out of town while our partner at town wasn't big enough for the both of us. I'd like to think that, but that's not true. No, they were not there. They were not in town because guess where these bums, the scum of the earth, these despicable, ugh, they are lower than a snake's belly in a wagon rut. They're in northern Japan. Now, before we discuss that, remember where Japan is. A depressed economy, earthquake, tsunami. The nation is hurting. The nation is in pain. So while the nation is on the ground in pain, Sea Shepherd is kicking them. Because that's what cowards do. That's what bullies do. That's what dishonorable people do. That's what people do who are inflicted, infected with lice, bedbugs, and fleas. They're in northern Japan exploring new areas to harass the Japanese in reference to dolphin and whale hunting. I guess they got tired of Taiji, so they need new scenery to garner donations from suckers around the world. So while the nation is hurting, these sea shepherd coward girly men are kicking the nation even further. These are a horrible group of people. Why don't they go to the Faroe Islands and pull this nonsense? They continually in Japan, infecting Japan with their venom. All right, folks, in conclusion, I would like to add that this video is a rebuttal, an answer to that propaganda movie, The Cove. And I'd like to thank Mr. Nashimura in Japan for protesting this movie that was shown in theaters in Japan. He had every right to do that. He knew that that piece, The Cove, was nothing but fiction, nothing but a lie, disparaging the good people of Taiji, Japan. I had no problem getting in and out of there, of that town, as depicted in that silly movie. I met with the mayor, the politicians, the fishermen's association, average people, the shopkeepers. These are decent people, middle class people, with the goal of looking after their families and their future. That's all they want to do. They have been hunting the creatures of the sea in this community 
for over 400 years. And guess what? Those creatures in the sea are still there. So I guess they know the sustainability better than these foreigners going into the town telling them you need to stop your bloodthirsty harvesting of the dolphins. These good people, about 3,000 of them in that town, their last names are connected to the whaling and dolphin industry going back 400 years that they can trace themselves into that community. Do they need these foreigners going in there harassing them? No, they do not need this. They don't need you telling them where you're going to wipe out the creatures of the sea. They know what the sustainability is. They know the numbers to harvest without hurting their industry. Why do you think they're stupid? If you think that, guess who really is stupid? You! <laughs> Alright folks. So this answer, this video is a reply telling the truth about the cove, about Taiji. Sea Shepherd calls themselves the Cove Guardians. Well, me and the folks who were there, guess what? We're the Cove Guardian Angels. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless Japan and Taiji. We'll see you.